Hey, it's Market Race Grooves. Hot Wheels are fun to collect. They're small, affordable. Maybe you like to collect Lego minifigures. They're fairly affordable as well. Not only that, some Hot Wheels models are ride-ons and you can use minifigures with the models. Well, in front of me I have a factory sealed case. I do believe this is, I've had this for a few years, haven't got to it. Minifigure Series 5. Uh, factory sealed case. You can see the tape on all the sides. Uh, I think this was, a, I think Series 5 was 2011. Yeah, uh, needless to say, since this is 2019, I'm quite a bit behind in getting to this unboxing video. But let's go ahead and check it out. I'm pretty sure it's Series 5. I did a little research. And judging by the graphics on the box, Plus the fact that it says Series 5 right there. There we have it. I'm going to open up all of these minifigures. Now, you've seen that this was factory sealed. But these, dis these uh, store top display boxes, uh, you can sneak in there and you can sneak out some of the packages. So if you get a sealed case, it'd be nice to get, get it like that. Otherwise, people can swap out uh, some of the blind bags and you wouldn't even know if you had it in just this box right here. But we know this is factory sealed. I took it right out of the factory sealed case. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, let me uh, give you a peek at the figures that are in this set. 16 different figures. I hope to find that one right there. Well, actually, I think they're all in here. But that's one that I'm looking forward to. Here's the side panel. Five more figures. But I think the one that's most popular, I don't see it yet. Yep, there we go. Hopefully I get that guy right there. Mm, dragon, I forgot. Uh, Lizard Man. Uh, you know what, I just collect these. I don't know the names, but Lizard Man. That's the name, Lizard Man of that one right there. I have to look to my notes on the side. Now, back then, I hear that these had bump codes to where there'd be little dots. You can see a dot right there. Uh, I don't know if they still do this or not. There's a little bump right there, a little dot. It's hard to see. Man, I think that's where the dot is. <laughs> Anyways, little bump code in the pack. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can see one bump code uh, right here. There's a bump, a little dot. Hold on. It's right there. I think that's where the bump code is. One right there. And then there'll be another one on this panel. Oh, no, there we go. Sorry, there it is. One bump, one bump. Anyway, it's so confusing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of... I haven't bought these in a long time. I like buying the case because then I know for sure that I should get all the models or all the figures. Uh, I, I don't want to go in... I don't want this video to run too long either. Let me go ahead and cut open a few of these. And then I'll come back and put them together and then I'll show you how many of each figure how many of each figure was in the case but we'll open a few right now here's the parts oh this one this one you have your little fishing pole so we know for sure which one that one is let me set it to the side make sure I don't lose any parts I don't know if you can see her Nope, she's not in the she's not in the artwork. Uh, you have a fisher right fisherman right there. Yep, I guess that's the one. Not there, Fisher. Let's go ahead and take a peek at another one. A couple more. Hopefully we don't don't open up the same one. And these are not evenly packed in the case, so sometimes there'll only be one, two, or three of the figure. So some are harder to find. Here's a cape. Here's a certificate of graduation. So we know that this one is the graduate. Let me make sure I set all these pieces right here. Let's grab one. Hey, can't lose it. Let's grab one from the back. Yeah, this one's a cool one. I think this one was called a small clown, something like that. There you go. 
It's a small clown. Short legs. Uh, that one's pretty cool. I like that one too. And let's do one more. Oh wow, this has a this has a big bump right there. That's the one we want right there. Nope. I seen. I thought I seen a big black hat. That one. Uh, I think that's the Royal Guard. Yeah, you can see them right there on the right, the Royal Guard. I'm going to open up all 60 packs. I'm not going to make you sit through all 60. I'm going to pick some to show you. I'm also going to be quiet and let you enjoy the sounds. After that, I'm going to show you how many of each Lego minifigure we got in this Lego Series 5 minifigures factory sealed case. Where are you?
three dragons. Okay, coming up after the break, I'll show you all the pieces, put them together, and show you how many of each figure there was. I am going to start with the more common pieces in the case. Remember, there were 60 bags in there. Five, we're going to start with the ones that have five of each. And here we have the zookeeper. As you've seen, she comes with a chimpanzee, as well as a ripe banana. Her clothes, they're khaki color, zookeeper clothes. You can see right here, there is a, there is a stripe right here. And I watched another video, and this is indicative of shorts. Is that correct? When they put the stripe there, does that mean that person has shorts on? You can see that she has a ponytail. Absolutely no decorations in the back. No decorations on the arm sleeves. And we come around, there's the other stripe for the shorts. The uh, monkey's pretty cute, like the monkey. It's a good thing that this one's more common. I'm sure a lot of people would like to have a little monkey. Here is a close-up of her face. She has lipstick. She has a little dimple. Looks like she has a little beauty mark right there. And this is how you hold a monkey. The arm is at an angle. Slide her right in right here. And that's how she holds her little animal friend. Unfortunately, there's no way for him to hold his banana. There were also five samples of the Royal Guard. You can see I put his accessory in different positions. Here he is holding the shoulder stock. Here he's ready to fire. This one, he's standing at attention, holding the barrel. This is another one, standing at attention, holding it upright. I'm not sure how they exactly stand when they are in their position as a royal guard. Of course, the left hand works as well. I took off his headgear. I heard that's made out of bear's fur. I don't know if it still is. But the strap, the strap for his headpiece is actually painted onto the face. It looks like he has a beard now. It would have been nice to have a separate piece attached to the headgear, but it does not. No printing on the side, no printing on the back. And you can see the texture of the headpiece right there. There you go. Hey man, don't be grumpy. And the last one that was the most common with five pieces is the boxer. The Royal Guard and the Zookeeper were nice. They had extra pieces. They came with the uh, weapon or the chimpanzee. This one, very, very simple, very plain. No, nothing particular. He does have some protective headgear. Once again, this one has a stripe on the side. Oh, you know what? He actually has a stripe right here, too, now that I check that out. Uh, different colored piece. 
And let's go ahead and take off that head. Oh, look how muscular he is. Look at those muscles. He has a rather grimacing look on his face. Let me go ahead and pop off his headgear. I don't think he has any hair or anything. Hey, he has a definitions for his cheekbones as well. Not, wait a second. What is this? Hey, he, oh, I didn't even notice that. He has two different faces. I put them all together and I didn't. Now I got to check the other ones. Hang on. I can't believe I put on the helmets. I think I put them on, didn't I? I think I put on those uh, safety helmets and I never even noticed the face on the other side. Let me, I put them all one way. Let me check the other ones. Sick go. Yeah, sure enough. They had another face on the other side. And I did not even notice. I checked the back of the Royal Guard. Nope. They do not have that special feature. Now, which characters had four figures each? Yep. Lizard Man. That's a good thing because uh, it's definitely one of the more popular ones. I was checking the resale value on e eBay to see, you know, which figures sell for more. And this is definitely one that sells for more. It's not particularly more rare. It, it has four. It, it doesn't have five. I think it's just people will sell it for more because it's kind of more of an interesting figure. Let's check real quick. You got uh, one face. Nope, just the one face. When you pop off the head, there's the post. And see, this is kind of just like a cape. It just slides on top. No printing on the sides. The back, it's like a costume, right? He's pretending to wear a costume. Let's go ahead and put him back together. Slide it back on. Pretty cool. I like the, I like the uh, lizard scales. I guess, those, I guess those are lizard scales in the front as well. Let's go ahead and pop on his head. His mask. There you go. Yeah, definitely, definitely one of the funner pieces of the bunch. Also with four pieces is the fitness instructor. You can see that the radio is printed on one side, but not the other. She has a colorful exercise outfit. This is, in my opinion, is kind of a flashback to the 80s when it was kind of a thing. She has a sweatband. You can see a screen sweatband on her forehead. Maybe you can see it better with this one here. Nothing in the way. Let's see, does it have another face? Nope, no other face. Green sweatband, lipstick. She has a printing on her pants as well, which are probably sweatpants or uh, tights. No other printing. There's her long flowing hair. There you go, blast from the past. It's the fitness instructor. Who do you think is next? It's the detective. Of course, you can hold a magnifying glass in either hand. It does come with a hat or a cap, I'm not sure. Has printing on the front. Let's get closer. It's only on the shirt. You only have the uh, shirt decorated. There's no printing on the sides, no printing on the back, nothing at all. By the way, I put this hat on backwards. I put this cap on backwards to show what it would look like if you put it on backwards. You can't see his eyeballs. This one, this one is how you're supposed to set it up. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look at his face. Take off his cap. Uh, he's got like uh, sideburns. I think that's what that would be, sideburns. Any printing on back? Nope, none at all. There you have the detective. Four samples of the lumberjack. I put his ax in different positions. You can see you can hold it upside down, hold the handle. Hold it more up on the, I don't know if that's called the yoke, further up near the, the headpiece. And there he is. Look out. Hiya. Very nice. He has printing on his sleeves. It's like flannel. You have to wear warm clothes. Typically, it's going to be cold where this fellow is going to be working. Hey, is that a chipmunk on his hat? Looks like he has printing of a squirrel or a chipmunk. It's nice that the axe has two colors. There's your metal edge. No printing on the pants. No. Oh, wow, look at that. We have printing in the back of the shirt. Very nice. No face. You can, you can, you can see most of it now. Uh, no face. And here's a close-up. He's got a beard, uh, just like me. No, I'm not going to show you. Here you go, four samples. Here is the cave woman. Pretty cool. I'm sure they have a cave man. Uh, you tell me you're the expert. They probably have different types of cavemen and cave women. Do they have a cave baby? 
I don't know. Check out her hairpiece. Her clothing could be like leather, right? They use, uh, she's a cave woman, so they use leather for clothing, and then they use the bones of the animal for the hairpiece. Let's take a look in the back. Hey, look, uh, printing on the side. That looks more like shorts right there. Or is that her skin tone? Nope, shorts. In the back, oh, good, she has printing on the back as well. Let me see, let me see that. It kind of looks like it's a necklace. Let me see if there's a part in the front. There you go, there's a part in the front. Do I have the body, the elbow? Uh, you know what, I think, hey, if that's the necklace, I, I have, uh, sorry, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Silly goose, uh, you're backwards. Well, obviously no head. There's a close-up of her face. Uh, muffed up, you know, she has a scuff on her face from living in the wild. Let's go ahead and pop on her hairpiece. I am so sorry. No, please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't know I fixed it, okay? Up next, we have the small... Oh, hang on. Sorry. You're so short. Sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Up next, the small clown... Comes with a pie in your face, or a pie to put in your face. Four samples, nice colors, red and green. Has a little small top hat with the flower in the front. You can put the pie in the right or the left hand. Either one, it does not matter. Printing on the front, no printing on the sides or the pants. No face in the back. It would have been funny to have another face, but they can't. It's got a small hat. If it would have been a bigger cap, then, you know, you would have been able to see the other face in the back. So uh, I, I, I presume that's why they don't put one in the back. Makes sense. Pretty cute little character. Now the other seven figures have three of each. Here we have the graduate. For the one on the right, I went ahead and folded the fabric piece to put his uh, graduation outfit on. This one is not actually folded. It just popped up. I'm going to store these in a bag, so I'm going to keep the other two flat for a while. The only legible text is Certificate of Graduation. At the graduation ceremony, you put your tassels on the right. That would be his right, not our right. You put them on the right, and then when you graduate officially, then you get to toss the tassels to the left. The graduate seems to be a little more expensive to acquire. I assume because when people graduate, they want a little Lego minifigure. So mm, that's, I can assume, I, I can understand why this one might be a little bit more expensive. Uh, you know, people, they, got, they have Lego fans. And then uh, maybe someone wants to give you uh, a graduate to congratulate you on graduating. It is, uh, where's the spot? There we go, there's the spot. Printing on the front, none on the side. None on the back. There you go. There's your graduate. Ice fisherman. Pretty cool. Yeah, it comes with a fishing pole. You even caught a fish. This person, it looks like it's going to be in the colder weather, maybe up in Alaska. Uh, well, for me, it looks like they might be in Alaska. Printing on the pants, printing on the torso. Let's see, nothing on the sides, nothing on the back, nothing on the, the, the warm jacket either. Let's go ahead. By the way, these are separate pieces. You have to put this together. You can see the different colors. So that's one piece. This is one piece. Uh, this was, this black piece is attached to the black right there. The fish though is separate. You have to attach the fish. There you go. You have your own little fish. Now you, now you can go ahead and go home and eat your salmon. Let's go ahead and uh, let's take the uh, head piece off. Probably, probably does not have, they could have hidden printing because you know it's got a big thing and nope no printing on the back here's the snowboarder like I said all of the rest of them there's going to be three of each um, nothing I think I I thought I did an unboxing and, and there was only two of one of the minifigures I think I don't know hey do they ever change that is it always three four or five pieces uh, it's been years since I unboxed a, a case so I'm not sure. The snowboard's pretty cool. You can stand in different positions. He has printing on his jacket. No printing on the sides or the back. Let's go ahead and pop up his uh, beanie. Looks like it'd be a beanie. 
There's a look at the top. Nothing on the back. And a close-up on his face. And it's the Egyptian Queen. Three samples. I kind of didn't, <laughs> didn't get their hair on very straight, did I? She comes with a serpent or a snake. Interesting piece. It has this bottom part. She doesn't have legs. I guess it's like a dress, right? Printing on the front. Nice printing on her face. Lots of makeup. But unfortunately, nothing. No printing at all. Nothing in the back. Let's take a look to see if she has a uh, menacing face. Nope. She's just nice all the time. And I might have saved three of the cooler pieces to the end. The Gladiator. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool mask. It, that must be, can you imagine trying to wear that thing if you were actually in battle? That would be super heavy. Let's take a look behind the mask. Grrr. Oh yeah, he looks like he's ready for battle. Nice printing in the front. Yeah, printing on the pants, printing on the torso. Oh, it has some side protection on the arms. Nice and shiny gold. Look at that. It has some printing on the side of the pants. Nothing on the back. No, no alternate face at all. He's just ready for battle all the time. Here's another one ready for battle. It's the Evil Dwarf. This one has a lot of pieces. You can see his axe. The axe is actually three pieces. It has this half of the blade, this half of the blade, plus, of course, the stick for him to hang on to it. You can see the line in between right there. So this piece snaps on the top. This piece right here snaps on the bottom. And once again, this handle, pretty cool, mean, mean looking helmet as well. I, I bet a lot of young men would like to have this one. How do you like that shield? Yeah, pretty nice. Let's take a look at how he ha handles it. Go ahead and take it out, slide it right out. There you go. This has a little post for him to hold on to. Let's go ahead and take this out. Let's go ahead and take off his helmet. Oh, yeah. Very, very cool. He's got, a, he's got a full beard. Check out that beard. All the way down. That's all beard. Well, that's not beard in the back. That's his, that's his hair. But he's bald. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop off his beard. The beard just slid on. Or did I have to? I think I had to put the head on first. Hang on. Yeah, I had to take the head off first. It just has one printing on the head. Let's go ahead and take off the hair. And there's a look at his actual clothing. Printing on the front, no printing on the side, none on the back. I'm not surprised because this one, this one has a lot of pieces. Last but not least, it's the Gangster. Again, three samples of the Gangster as well. Has extra pieces. He, instead of a hairpiece, he has the hat as a little pistol, as well as what looks like it could be like a rifle case. It, it does not, I don't think it's the proper shape to actually store the pistol. What do you think they'd use that case for? Wouldn't, wouldn't they use like a machine gun? Wouldn't it be holding a machine gun in there? The case does open up. It does have a storage area. I don't know if it fits. I'm doing this for the first time. Let's see. Pretty tiny. I don't know if... Oh! I was not expecting that to fit. He's a happy gangster. Has a pinstripe suit which would be proper for the era. Hey, stand up. Your mom's going to get mad at you. Bad posture. No printing on the back. And there's a look at him. Uh, he's a happy gangster. Look at that uh, smiling, happy face. Let's take a look at the back. No, no face in the back. There you have it. Series 5, 16 characters. Which one? Do you have any of these? Uh, these are over seven years old already. If you're an older collector, you probably have them all. If you're a newer collector, which ones would you like to add to your collection? I, I already said which ones were my favorite. I'll be reading to see which ones are yours. Here's a playlist with any of my videos that are Lego related and some other stuff you might want to check out too. Thank you for watching and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.